Hello again and welcome to my channel Mommy for Five Griffins and today we have a Dollar Tree hanging show and we're going to put this thing together and I'll show you how it's done. Stay tuned. Okay, I purchased uh, six of these bathroom and laundry uh, pictures. And what I'm doing now is I'm just gluing those together with some Gorilla Glue, glue sticks, and I've um, used little clips to hold them together to make it tighter. You can see the ones that I purchased here. And I plan to, to paint over those. But they're fully secured. And what I did was I used some scissors because I didn't have a drill. So I just used scissors and poked a hole in each of the corners and twist that around a little bit to make it a little bit bigger so that I can get the rope through there. It was pretty easy. It's just, it's just thick cardboard actually. So yeah, it's not very hard to get some scissors in there instead of a drill. Use what you got. But I made um, four holes in each of the corners. Well, I made four total in each of the corners. And now I'm just making sure everything's together tightly. And you want to probably let this dry and get secure for a couple hours before you start the next phase. And I actually let it dry overnight. So this was last night when I started. And I did that to all six of them. So it's a total of two shelves. And I just used some white uh, acrylic paint and painted a coat over all of the, um, the, the pictures so that it's a little bit more uniform. And I, I did a total of three coats all together because as you can recall, it was the blue pictures and it took a lot of paint to, to cover those up. What I'm doing now is, I, I didn't really like the seam in the middle where um, the pictures connected. So what I did was I used some duct tape and I taped over those seams to make it more uniform and also to give it a little bit more strength right there so that um, it you, you can't see those seams after it's painted. And I'm going to go ahead and do a few more coats over the tape. But I'm just slicing it. I'm just slicing the tape so it goes all the way around. And I'm just slicing each side so that it can affix really good to the to where the seam is. And I'm doing that for all four of the spots where you see the seams.
Okay, now that that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another coat of, of the white acrylic paint over the tape so that I can mask that. And I'm going to paint the tape and the sides, and I'm going to let those dry so I can put on a second coat. So all together, there's about three coats on um, these shelves. I was thinking about using contact paper, but um, I decided no. Um, but actually, contact paper would be much easier. Um, I just didn't didn't really like the the Dollar Tree contact paper. Um, it just didn't go with the vision that I had. But they did have the dark wood and the light wood contact paper, which would. Uh, worked very well and of course they had the the gray and white and and the other designs that they they normally have I just wanted to go ahead and just paint the surfaces because I wanted a a, a white finish Now, after I did the first coat, I let it dry for a couple hours and then did the second coat. And here's what they look like after um, the third coat has dried. So now um, they're all ready to go for the, the next step. And the next step, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, bling wrap around it. Because I wanted a little bit of bling. So I'm just going to hot glue that around the edges with some uh, hot Gorilla Glue. And I'm only going to do the front and the sides. I'm not really going to focus on the back. You can do it all the way around if you'd like to, but um, no one's going to see the back. So I'm not even going to focus on that. Okay, so I'm just taking my bling wrap and I'm just measuring um, from the front to the side. And then I'm just going to attach the bling wrap um, towards the middle. There's, there's going to be a little less than what I need because the, the bling wrap is a little smaller than the edge. but. It's just going to look like a stripe, so I'm not even worried about it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to hot glue this on. And I'm just going to take that measurement and cut another strip so that I've got them both ready. And I didn't do too much measuring with these at all. I just <clears throat> kind of decided what I wanted to do and kind of went from there.
measuring was kind of overkill for this, I think. But yes, I'm just going to attach these to the side and the front, and we will be on our way to the next steps. And for the side, I actually used a whole lot of glue, and uh, there was a lot of strain that came off of this. So what I did was I, I used my scissors to hold it down a little bit so I didn't burn my fingers because I, I burned them a couple times, but yeah. So if you don't want to burn your fingers, have something close to you that you can kind of push it down with so the bling wrap will stay. And, <clears throat> and for the bling wrap, um, after it's dry, I didn't really notice the hot glue at all, so it wasn't a big deal. But of course, if you're if you're making this yourself, make it your own. Um, do what what you want to do for your decor or what you want to do for for your craft. I chose bling wrap. But actually a nice ribbon or um, even just painting the sides another contrasting color would have did just as well. I just wanted to give it a little bit of color. <clears throat> and also I want to mention that um, the acrylic paint was kind of flat. It was kind of flat looking. So what I did was I actually painted a coat of Mod Podge on the top so it's got a little bit of a gloss. And that really helped out a lot, so. So I actually did that off camera, so I just wanted to mention that. And as you can see with the glue stick, I'm just going around the edge just a little bit at a time so that I can make sure that it's sticking well and also make make sure that the glue strings don't get all over the place because it it was crazy and I'm just gonna go around the sides and finish up with that
Okay, here I have the poly rope, and there's also a braided rope, but they only had it in a teal color, and I really didn't want that. So um, the poly rope was in black, so I chose to use that. However, the braided rope would have been more sturdy, and um, if I wanted to take time to paint it or to do something else, that would have been much better but I chose to use the the poly rope since that was black but if, if you're doing this project on your own I would say the braided rope would be much better and much sturdier for this project and I'm not really measuring um, what I did was I just took the the length of my arms and I just measured that way and um, I just cut them all the same length and then I tied the one end into a knot so it didn't unravel and with the opposite end what I did was I used the tape and uh, wrapped around the end so that it'd be easier to thread through the holes that I had made earlier. So that made it much easier to work with. Now I'm just threading each rope through the hole uh, that I had made earlier. And just making sure I can thread them through there really good. And now for the top part, um, where I put the knot, I just went ahead and used a curtain ring. Um, to attach all of those together so that it would hang. Now if you'd like, it, it would probably be much easier to add two rings to each side. That way, um, one ring for one side and another ring for another side. That way there's two rings holding it. That, that would probably be much easier instead of one ring in the middle because I actually had to um, use a hook to hang it so that it was more stable. But yeah, if, if you do this project, I would recommend doing a ring on each side. So the ring would have two ropes attached to it instead of all four. And now I'm just actually re reinforcing that knot. I made two knots around the, um, the curtain ring. And I'm reinforcing that knot with some, some hot glue so that it stays in place with the ends. I don't want the ends to unravel. Okay, now after that's done, uh, what I did was I measured where I wanted it to be, um, how I wanted it to hang. And then I uh, used the rope and tied a knot, actually two knots underneath. And then I fixed those knots once I was happy with how it was laying. I fixed those knots with um, a ton of hot glue so that the knots wouldn't come out of place and wouldn't move or wouldn't come through the hole in any way. So. So once I've got those to where I want them, I go. I went ahead and glued them in place. And I did that for all four sides of each shelf. This will make sure that the, the rope is, is um, in place and the shelves aren't going to tilt or are, are going to be level. 
going to just put that one to the side and worked on the next one. And tied that one into knots. And then once I have all the knots finished, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and um, glue those in place with the hot glue so that they're not moving. And in the corners, uh, when you do this, if you, if you do try to do this, um, like I said, I used a ton of hot glue in the corners so that those knots wouldn't move. And uh, once I did that, actually it was really, really strong. So it made a it made a huge difference. For this next part, I recommend after you threaded all the uh, rope into the holes to hang it up on the wall so that um, you can tie one end on the last shelf so that you can make it level. It was much easier to do while it was hanging up than it was sitting down because while it was sitting down, it was steady becoming uneven. So I had to hang it up in order to to make all the sides even and then I did the same thing um, once I tied the double knots underneath I went ahead and glued each knot in place that way uh, it was more stable
Okay, and I'm just tying these down a little. And now here is the finished shell. I'm just decorating it a little bit. And yeah, if you'd like to do this project, just um, like I said, use tons of hot glue and uh, work your magic. Make this your own. And I, I would say use a um, the, the two hooks instead of one. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Have a good evening.